Okay, hi everyone, I'm Julia Spistu and I'm here to continue these quick interviews with the artists of Surroundings, first group show at Satellite Florin. Uh, today I'm here with Jacob Van Skalwick, a firm artist who has displayed his works in numerous exhibitions, New York, in Johannesburg, Cape Town, uh, just to name a few and currently lives and works in Cape Town, South Africa. Hi, Jacob. Thank you for being here. How are you? Hi, thank you. Nice to speak to you. <laughs> nice for me too. It's a pleasure. Uh, so uh, I will start talking about one of the two works uh, displayed in surroundings uh, titled No More Talking in Africans, uh, done with lithographic ink and litho crayon graphite and spray paint on paper. Uh, talk to us about this work, powerful in its gestures and in its contrasts. Huh. Did you um, did you get to see the the, the work um, yeah. at the exhibition? Yeah, I saw them. I uh, displayed them with Matteo and Francesco. I was um, I was very jealous because um, because I wanted to be there, you know. So um, yeah. maybe you can tell me what it what it felt like, what what the work what it felt like to see the work there in Florence, you know. Uh, it was very powerful because uh, its contrast, the gestures, the um, black and white contrast, and also um, its dialogue with the other work you have displayed then that we're we're talking later about it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you know, Julia, um, it was very important for me because um, it's the first time that I've shown in Florence. Oh, okay. And it's the first the first show that I that I had with um, Suburbia, like mm -hmm. um, physical, you know, show mm -hmm. in a gallery. Mm -hmm. Um, we had some online shows before, but I, it was very important to me that the work that went to Florence needed to sort of be typical of of the kind of work that I've that I've developed mm -hmm. throughout my career so far, you know. So those those drawings are um they're very typical of, of of what i've been working towards mm -hmm. um using lithographic ink as a drawing and painting medium um and you know working on 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 these gestures like you say these powerful gestures mm -hmm. how, how to how to develop those over time it took it took a couple of years you know yeah. so, <laughs> so a lot of so yeah i'm very happy to hear that they had an impact for you you know yeah they're they're amazing and the Two also two of them. So their the their power it's more than one only one painting only. Mm, wow, um, that's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> loud here. Hold on. I must move a little bit. So. Um, um, yeah. yeah you know, making them making those drawings. Um, it's a very. Uh, you know, I, I, I take uh, at first I, I sort of prepare the paper. You know, they're on they're on etching on etching paper, mm -hmm. um, printing paper, which is a very um, a sort of a sensitive sensitive paper. Mm -hmm. So um, first, I have to prepare them by um, sort of putting down a, a layer of transparent ink, oh, okay. so that the so that the paper becomes stronger, oh. um, so that it can then take the absorb the gesture. You know, so the gesture is made by um, I'm using I'm using um, sort of sticks with with some cloth on them. Oh, okay. And so you know I, I go through kind of two um, two different like uh, episodes or, or working sessions with these drawings mm -hmm. um, where where I kind of dance around with this mm -hmm. this cloth. It's very gentle. It has to be very gentle because the mm -hmm. paper is so so sensitive and it can it can tear. Oh, Sometimes okay. it does tear and I kind of fix it or or whatever, but you know, with these two sort of rounds of gesture, I don't really know what's going to happen. Mm, okay. uh, the final no, I don't really. Is, uh, you don't know what it will become. No, you know, and so drawing, you know, drawing is always, they don't have to be finished necessarily, but they have to be this, it's about, uh, I guess, capturing something while I'm doing it. I'm not, I'm not so sure, you know, but, but I, 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 I um, so I kind of lose myself in the in the dancing and the drawing, and I let them I let them sit. Those ones that went to Florence sat for about three years mm. before I before I finished finished them. Oh, you know, okay. like 
So I took them out again and kind of looked at them and, I, and then, you know, the amount of time that I don't work on them that I spend just to see what they need, mm -hmm. what could be, what could work, you know, okay. like what, what, what they might need to, to, to be completed or consistent. Okay. Um, consistent is more important for me, complete. Um, so then I try to, 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 to do that. And even when I'm trying to finish them, I also fail and get it wrong. And I have to adjust, okay. always adjust in the, in, while I'm making them. Mm. It's always like an adjustment. Mm. So yeah, they have a certain sort of steps that they, that they take. There's preparation, there's making, and then there's the finishing with the, with the, the dry, um, dry medium, like the, you know, the light of crayon and those yeah. things where I'm kind of commenting on what happens and, you know, I'm playing, I'm okay. playing a lot of these drawings. So it's a very long pr procedure and gentle, but the final result, it's so powerful. So it's really interesting how it, it's originated. And the, yeah. uh, the second work uh, that you displayed in surroundings, uh, Artist Unknown, um, it's really different from uh, this first work. Um, and I would ask you to talk about it, how to talk about the process behind it, and also the role of the collector who acquires this work his functional and active position in this entire experience that you are proposing. Uh, tell us about it. Sure. Um, uh, you know, um, so Artist Unknown is a, is, a, is a kind of a specific work that I think um, Suburbia saw the work. It's one of the first of my works that they saw mm -hmm. um, in Johannesburg. I had made it before for a, um, a, a specific fair in, in Johannesburg that used to be very important to me. It was called the jo Johannesburg Art Fair. Okay. Um, and I made it for that fair because, exactly because of the role of the collector. You know, we, we collect, there are collectors and collectors. Now, I mean, it's, it's very general to, to make a distinction, but mm -hmm. um, nonetheless, I mean, more and more, we, you know, you see more collectors who kind of, come in with with very specific ideas or you know how to look I mean the, the collectors are so important you know I think um, and that the the way that they the way that they take care of art collecting itself as an art form you know to take care of art and to to take care of, of, of like a taste you know like um, defining taste for your community for your country for if the future I mean these are all really big things that collectors think a lot about you know right. more than me <laughs> but <laughs> then you also have guys like who come into the fair or into the booth and they just go like I want 40 percent off or yeah. you know it's weird it's like a totally different something I don't really right. I don't yeah. like to interact with too much it's weird to me so um, and more and more of those kind of collectors were starting to come to these fairs in South Africa you know and it was like geez what are you doing it's so weird you know we don't we don't work that way or I don't work that way. So um, I wanted to make something that would kind of like punch back a little bit. Okay. You know? mm -hmm. so, um, I've only been to uh, different countries in Africa other, other than South Africa, mm -hmm. like three times. You know, I went to Zimbabwe once, Malawi once, and um, Namibia also uh, a couple of times. Mm -hmm. So I'm not like a hugely well-traveled person in, in Africa, but I will be learning from Africa for the rest of my life, you know, and, and understanding African art and understanding right. cultural expression in Africa and understanding my own role in this whole thing. Mm -hmm. It will take me the rest of my life, you know. Every time I've gone to another country, or if, and it doesn't just in Africa, but every time I've gone to another country in Africa and to Malawi, for example, it was an amazingly, like, you know, life-changing experience for me. Okay. Wow. It really changed my understanding mm -hmm. of everything, you know? Wow. So, so the piece, uh, apart from it just looking really good with the drawings. <laughs> 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 yeah, they died maybe, very well. 
Yeah, that's what's next. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So apart from that, the, the, the idea that as a collector or as, a, as somebody looking or as an artist, you know, you go into a place and you feel that experience of going to Malawi that I felt when I went there. Mm-hmm. And you know the, the the route that I traveled there, it was just so incredible going down this sort of mountain wow. towards Lake Malawi. Lake Malawi is the most special place. Oh, it's the, it influences the weather. It's incredible, you know. And you can have pizza there. There's an Italian there who makes like wood fired pizza on the lake. Oh. It's amazing. <laughs> Yeah. So you know. Anyway. So the so so I wanted people to be able to have that experience, mm. and so the way to do it was to make this 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 piece to buy this thing mm. that I bought from the shore of Lake Malawi. Mm. This mm. like lot rubber, mm. um, and to be able to make some people have that same experience or or similar. You know, I wanted people. I wanted collectors, mm. collectors to feel mm. and to, to to have that same like amazing feeling or experience you know? yeah wow mm. it's really really engaging for the collector also it's a real experience to have mm. and i would ask you as a last question uh, as you we've seen how you uh, are able to work with such different ma- mediums print making painting drawing uh, sculpture uh, but you are also very interested in other um, things that are not only circumscribed to art as mathematics logic music and writing do you use these different interests of yours as interchangeable sectors we, which you can utilize simultaneously um be, because i'm um my training is in drawing mm-hmm. so um you know my training is in uh figure drawing mm-hmm. um anatomy studies you mm-hmm. know uh, anatomical dissection mm-hmm. that was my training mm-hmm. a long time ago like, you know in university yeah. in new york where i studied I, I i had a very very almost like a renaissance training no? oh, like yeah. like Mm-hmm. went to the medical university to study the cadavers mm-hmm. so it was very special mm-hmm. but then on the at the same time i i could choose of so many different things that i wanted to do I, uh, when you study drawing you also study like whatever it, your interests are no? mm-hmm. so um i studied film and video i studied um lithography uh i studied a little bit of sculpture um and so you know music um my first career as was not as a visual artist it was as a as a performing musician and um like video backdrop like i played in a in a blues band mm-hmm. hip hop and um with black american guys mostly we toured europe and america mm-hmm. it was that was my first career you know mm-hmm. so i think um as somebody who draws drawing links these things together for me right. i don't consider you know if i'm writing mm-hmm. i write like I draw ah. if i'm making music i make music like i draw if i'm if i'm you know um, anything i do if it's sculpture or if it's and even you know, uh, it's all video i make it it's all like i'm drawing i see it all as being drawing a different sort of like uh, you know um sites of 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 drawing drawing is what unites everything so right. um i understand it can be confusing for other people <laughs> <laughs> it's all drawing to me and and it, you know again yeah it's never finished okay well wow, it's very interesting uh and see also behind everything it's drawing for you so was very interesting and stimulating also so thank you so much jacob for this quick chat chat with me uh have a nice day uh, there in south africa summer here i'm in a really bad weather so i would rather be Sorry. with you <laughs> so come, thank come you over, yeah. come here. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much jacob have a nice day yeah. Bye. Thank you, Julia. Bye. Bye.